Hello and welcome to Marmaria. 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 I don't know how to say it. It's like a lot harder than you would think. Um, so I, uh, I've played this for about four hours, and uh, I would say there's probably at least two more hours of gameplay in it for me, because uh, the game is currently in early access. Uh, it definitely has enough content right now to kind of keep you pretty occupied. It's because it's a fun time. Uh, I received a free key from the developer uh, because I played the demo. Um, some time ago. I'm super late in getting around to it because I just I just had a really busy week and just life in general. Uh, and also, uh, I really like the game. Like, I mean, I'll just say it right here. It's like an automatic recommendation for those of you who don't make it past two minutes. The game is great. Recommended. It. It's a mix between action roguelike and a little bit of bullet hell, and it is a ton of fun. Uh, this is like the end of the story. I don't know why I clicked that. She doesn't do anything else at this point. There's like no other story uh, bit for her to do. I can do some minor upgrades. It's kind of weird because not all the characters actually have uh, something they can fully upgrade. But anyways, the, the point is this is like the screen. I don't usually do reviews because I prefer to just play the game and then show it off and and everything, but uh, because I've already kind of explored everything there is for the blue guys or the blue ladies, uh, it's not so easy to, to do that. But you got a cool skill upgrade tree. A lot of the things are locked because they, they, they aren't available yet, but it means when the game comes out fully or as early access progresses, we'll have some more stuff to do, which is pretty cool. We got a, a store we can use to sell some stuff. Sometimes you get some pretty decent things, but... Not always. Like, it seems kind of weird. Like, the stuff that, they, that the store sells is tied to the level of your character, which is uh, pretty decent, but... Uh, so anyway, so you start here, and you got, like, the, the story levels. As you can see, it looks like there's probably going to be some stuff in, like, different places. They follow these blue lines. Um, but I'm not going to do either of those for this particular video. I'm going to just kind of... Uh, no, because the wave... The wave fights aren't what I would consider great. Uh, you have these little... Options for some kind of, um... I don't know what would you call it. And, like, repeatable... Re repeatable... Kind of... I don't know. Things that you can do that are gonna, you know, kind of help you out and stuff like that. Um... I have a bunch of gems, so I'll buy stuff. So you can buy stuff from the cards. You don't actually have to. None of it is really vastly important. Uh, so depending on the... Like, the particular level that you go to... And it's, like, one of the things... Even though, like, the sound has been turned, like... Kind of down for the, uh... You know, for the game itself... It doesn't really seem to actually work once you get into actual gameplay. It just starts to get really loud, which, you know, I think the music is really good, so I'm not going to complain too much, but it does mean there's a chance it is going to be drowning me out, which, you know, in some cases might be a good thing. In others, it just means I just can't really, you know, properly describe everything. So I'm not going to actually do all of this. Um... Uh, I'm gonna do one round, and it's just so you can kind of get an idea of, of what to expect with these things. The story modes, or the story-based missions, are really kind of a, about the same, except for there is, like, something that you are legitimately trying to do. I do like them. The levels can feel like they drag on a little bit, but there are a lot of checkpoints everywhere. Um, so it makes it a lot easier than you would think. If you die, you can just kind of come back. Do it again, and it's not too bad. It works really, really well. There is, um, I would say overall, like, really satisfying pacing. And, uh, it's also just, like, one of the most addictive games I have played in quite some time. I loaded it up yesterday with the intention of, like, you know, maybe playing an hour, um, after which point I would have felt like I'd, you know, I'd played enough to say yes or no to early access. 
And I was gonna leave it there. I'd be like, you know what, alright, I've played enough. Um, it's time to go do something else, like make dinner. And I didn't make dinner. I ate some, like, leftover... Like, a uh, macaroni salad and... Um... Coleslaw. That's, that's what I ate, because I was too busy playing this for four hours. I just sat down and started playing. I couldn't stop. I just really, really enjoy this title. Like, it is one of those games that... It kind of, like, captures the Vampire Survivors-esque uh, combat. But it's just... I think the ability to switch between... You know, three characters at a time gives you, like, this really very cool uh, method of playing. I mean, you can combine stuff to um, really make some cool stuff happen. It's it's just... it's so well done. Like, I mean, I, I don't know that I've played a game in Early Access that feels as good as this. I also can't remember the last time I've, you know, started playing a game that... Um, I'm not really sold on, like, you know, initially, like, the whole idea of the game, I was like, I don't know that I'll like it. Now, now granted, I, this was a thought when I played the demo, uh, the full game, or the early access version, I already knew that I was gonna like it because I really enjoyed the demo so much, uh, but when I had played the demo, I, I really wasn't, you know, sure about it. It was one of those games where I was asked to play and I was like, you know, I, I don't know that I'm gonna like this. I do like shoot 'em ups. I'm not really a bullet hell fan, but you know, we'll, we'll we'll see what it what it what it's like. And man, I absolutely fell in love with it, and um, I just really really enjoy it. I mean, like whatever, you know, like that's that's it. The game's good, man. It's it's, it's kind of like one of those games that I consider like a very much must play. Um, Alright, none of this stuff. I don't need any of these things. But anyway, you can continue to keep... You can decide to keep going, which will unlock better gear, which is important to um, level up and everything. Um, but I'm not going to do any of that. I am going to do a mission with our red people because I haven't really played them at all because I just kind of wanted to save something for later on um, when early access gets a little bit further. And that is, I think, the major downside of an early access title. Not just this one, but any early access title. Anytime there's a story attached, you, you run into this situation of being invested and interested in what's happening. Because, you know, like the characters can be really cool, they can be super interesting, you could be, you know, kind of, you wanna see what happens, what happens in the next chapter. And for early access titles, it could be months, it could be years, it could be never before you find out the conclusion of the story or what comes next, and that's difficult. To convince yourself to kind of keep going, um, or get into it. And if you are the kind of person who prefers to have your story presented all at once, you might want to wait, uh, because while there's at least three or four hours of story-based content, you know, it doesn't necessarily end, uh, at least from the blue side of things, it doesn't end in a way that uh, the story is complete. It is like a decent placeholder for an ending, like I would say it would be the equivalent of like the end of a chapter and you're just waiting for the next chapter. It's done uh, really well, it's presented in a good way, but again, the issue is like there's more story than is coming that I have no idea when it's going to get here. Um, the early access does say it's going to be an early access for one to two years, which is a long time to wait for the finishing of a story. That being said, I do think that the gameplay alone and its you know its and its incredibly entertaining value is enough to, to, to really kind of pull you in for um, early access. I had no intention of receiving a free key for the game. I had every intention of buying the game, um, but the developer sent me a free key, so I took it because I just had to take my cat to the vent, and she was expensive as could be. So uh, <laughs> my budget for indie games is uh, currently depleted for the time being. 
Um, so, so it kind of worked out, you know, like, um... You know, I, I'm not complaining about getting a free game. I, I'm very happy with it because otherwise I might not be able to play it right away. Um, anyway, so one of the things you'll notice is, uh, you, you know, we, we've got the three different characters here. And we have a mage. We have a person who is, you know, doing this, like... I don't know what you want to call it. She is... I guess you would say she is, um... She's the equivalent to, um... Ah, man, I'm just struggling. She... Okay, so we have this lady who is the equivalent, in a way, of our... Um... Archer, we have one that's the equivalent of um, other things, uh, the the shining armor, the armor person. Basically, we have like characters that are very similar to the other characters. Um, so you don't really get that much of a difference when it comes to kind of like choosing which character to play. So I think that would maybe. You know, it gives you the option of, like, you really, really enjoy playing as, um, you know, the blue characters, which I have to admit, I really firmly enjoy playing as them. They're very fun, entertaining characters. Um, or you can enjoy playing as the red characters and outside of, like, like a little bit of story and, and, and just minute changes or differences to like kind of how you know their special abilities are they feel pretty identical uh i like i said i don't think it's a bad thing like i think it works really well and it's done in a way that really helps you kind of figure out how to to play i guess um and really figure out what it is that you want and everything that you do is tied to you know like each side so the money that I earn with these characters is specific to these characters and, you know, vice versa. It works really well. Like, I, I'm super impressed. Like, I, I got to admit, like, it's still, like, one of my unexpected surprises of the year so far. And now we get into a boss fight, I think. That's probably, like, going to be the only place where I actually have any sort of complaint. And that is the boss fights. Um, this boss fight probably won't be hard. I say that, but who knows. I really dig the animations. I really dig the, the anime style nature to this. I've been watching... Um, Agami... Kala, Agami Kala Kill or Black... I don't know. It's the one where like the dude meets this group of people and they're like fighting people who are you know disenfranchising people. I can't remember the name of it, but... I don't know, I've been really enjoying it, um, and so this doesn't remind me at all, but anyway, it's, it's an anime. Uh, this looks like anime, and I like anime. It's like a it's like a win-win. Alright, so anyway, what I was going to say, oh, this one seems like it's not going to be too bad, um... The boss fights, in general, uh, they, f you know, some of them, especially like towards the end, like it's really hard to look at them and figure out what level should I even be to accomplish this because they can be really, really difficult uh, to the point of, you know, it just feeling almost... Almost unfair, to be completely honest with you. It just gets, like, crazy difficult. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. Like, it happens. And obviously, I guess this was more of just a... Um, no, yeah, there it is, the end of the... 
the level or whatever. No, it's not. Are we going into another area? But uh, I do wish, you know, like we have our levels that we get to go and we get to do kind of these things that we're going to do uh, in order to kind of unlock um, gear and resources, which is all great, but um, one thing that it doesn't seem to have is we don't have uh, like a boss fight, like another, not so much a boss fight, like a boss battle uh, system, like none of the Uh, none of the, um, these guys are, like, kicking my butt. Sometimes it's, like, really difficult for me to play games and talk at the same time. That's what's happening here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so what I'm saying is, like, I, as much as I like the extra levels that we get to go and gather resources and do all that, I do wish we had something that actually gave us some kind of boss fight. Uh, just because then maybe we could practice fighting the bosses if we're struggling. Uh, because, like, there's a couple of bosses that I straight up just... I was struggling so bad. I had to take a break. And by take a break, I mean, like, I... I just tried again because I was not going to let them beat me. Um, but I was getting my butt absolutely kicked because I just couldn't figure out, like, what it is I needed to do, and I just kind of feel like if we had, like, a, you know, a, a boss fight level type of thing, or even if, like, the levels that allow us to kind of just keep going actually gave us a boss after, like, a couple of uh, a waves were finished or whatever, but, you know, it doesn't, and it's whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, the whole system, I do think, is really good. Uh, and it works quite well for us to get everything we need. And I've been dropping a lot of gear that's potentially better than than what I have. I'm not going to pick any of it. I'm not going to use any of it, though. I like what I have. It works quite well. I mean, look at this. I mean, like, she just burning everything. I always like playing mages, man. It's, it's just, like, a lot of fun. Uh, so after I finish this level, it is going to be the end of the video. Um... And it's, um, man, you know, like, again, it's kind of weird for me to play this on the lines of kind of making a review, but it, you know, it's really... I, I feel like that's, that it makes more sense. Because it's kind of more of a, a review, I think. I will admit that um, I've had like the hardest time trying to figure out how to properly utilize our um, any character that is melee based. Now I do do a fairly decent job with the um, the construct, the uh, dude in the armor, um, but you know he's got like amazing gear, so that's what that's what doesn't. So the nice thing about it, if you fail or if these guys get knocked down, all you have to do is walk over them, you can bring them back, and it works, you know, it's super well. I do wish... there are some things you can get in some runs. I've only ever seen them in, like, our um, repetitive, uh, our repeat locations, where we get, like, extra bottles of health juice, and then we can, you know, stay alive or, you know, bring our life back. Oh, and it refreshed. Cool. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like. I would say that the, the characters that are focused on uh, close range attacks are the harder characters to kind of get used to. Like, or... They are the harder characters to actually 
utilize effectively because uh, it can be just a little bit, a little bit hard. I think I'm gonna switch some stuff. These guys are getting kind of flummoxed here. Man, they're not getting. I'm getting any gear that's like that valuable, unfortunately. It's weird how much stronger this character is compared to the blue um, mage. Huh. They can buy some stuff. Oh, cool. Let's see. Well, let's sell all this stuff. We don't need any of it. I don't think I have much money to, like, actually purchase anything of real value. Yeah, no, everything's gonna be too expensive because... ...reasons. It is pretty cool, though. Uh, so you do have, like, a shop that shows up in, um, a different way for both sides, apparently. Uh, blue is usually just, like, portals because they're... I guess they're more magical focused. It wouldn't it doesn't make sense because we got a wizard here, or a mage, a sorceress, whatever you want to call her. But I will say I will say they they're all a delightful bunch. Like I I just really enjoy them. This definitely fits like one of those games where if there was ever an anime series to be made based on um, a video game. I feel like this would be a good one. I would watch it. Like, I mean, it, 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 how could you not? The, you could have um, one episode focus on the blue side, one episode focuses on the red side. Every week they go on their crazy adventures and do all kinds of cool stuff. I, you know, it doesn't even have to be all combat like going on, but I mean, the combat could be pretty cool. I don't know. I, I just saying I would watch it. And I think if you, um, if you're, like, a fan of, like, Diablo, uh, you know, the good one, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and it's a shame they stopped making them after that, um, but thankfully we have games like Grim Dawn and this, uh, so, anyway, but if you like Diablo uh, in action RPGs in general, you probably like them for one of the same reasons I do, and it's one feeling like you're vastly more powerful than everything around you, and for the other reason of simply really, really enjoying all the loot you get to pick up. And uh, this game certainly delivers on loot eh, most of the time. Sometimes I, I, I seem to not really find much of anything, uh, but for the most part, I would say that you will quite often find all kinds of goodies that you can pick up. Uh, Which is, uh, you know, really cool. Alright, so we, we lit our lights. It's so pretty. I mean, yeah. I wish they had, like, a, an ability to kind of move at a faster pace. We don't, but it's not, like, a big deal. Because uh, you can do the dodge or the roll. an accident. The one thing that probably has not been apparent, because I really haven't changed much in the way of gear, uh, but depending on the stuff that you pick up, you could find that your 
attacks, your special attacks could be different. Um, some of some movement perks, different things. So it does behoove you. I've always wanted to use that word in a sentence. Um, it does behoove you to really kind of consider the stuff that you're going to switch to because just uh, just because the item may appear to be better because it's got higher stats or higher damage doesn't mean it's actually going to be better than something you already have. So you want to be... I don't know. You want to pay attention. That way you don't, um, you know, kind of screw yourself over. Still get uh, that there is a map too. Like I mean, you can use the map to kind of figure out where you're going. I almost never have used the map. I just don't find it too necessary. The game does a really good job of um, you know not being designed in a way that will make it like nearly impossible to figure where anything is. Which is nice. Uh, a lot of games that have expansive maps will put you in a situation where it's just like next to impossible to figure anything out, but yeah, it's done a good job. Plus, we have the little mini map, so I mean, if you're getting lost, I mean, it's, it's kind of on you, I guess. I think, uh, I think this may have opened. Yeah, I do wish there was like, a, I don't know, like maybe an auditory clue, something that let you know, or even like a visual clue where it kind of comes back and it shows you. Because some of these things that we accomplish throughout the game, not just here, but in other ones, other levels. You don't necessarily know that you've accomplished whatever it is you've been trying to do, so you could run around a little bit more than you need to. It's not a big deal. Well, we're here now. I like your shirt, uh, your dress thing. Komodo? I don't think it's a kimono, but whatever it is, it looks nice. I finally have one of these battles uh, that's going to be, you know, a little bit Yahoo! more difficult. <laughs> Thankfully, like, um... In most cases, when you fight a boss, if you take, you know, some of her... Some of their... Because it's, you know, bears. Actually, I think all of the bosses that you fight are ladies. It's like that Taylor Swift song about ladies ruling the world. It turns out that maybe she was right. And I have completely screwed up and I'm gonna die. But you know what? That's okay. It's okay. It's it's quite all right. I will say that one thing that the red team lacks compared to the blue team is the blue team has I guess more special attacks that are going to make it easier to bring your people back if you need to. Um, red team just doesn't have it. We have the we have this lady who's I just I can't remember their names because I suck at names. But um, she can do the defend for a little bit, which is going to be helpful, but it's it's not really, like, enough. It's the only thing that we have 
and then the other characters just don't have the attack range or... And like, I need all of them alive in order to really do this, and I'm, I'm gonna die again. This is this is what I mean when it comes to like the difficulty. I I, I like waffle stomp the other two bosses, um, but this one is, you know, I I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh, I'm slightly better gear, which might make a little bit of a difference, although. I'm gonna go with no. Not enough meaningful stuff, unfortunately. I pretty much, uh, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna, like, pull this one off. I just... I actually may not pull it off. Well, maybe. I can keep, like, my distance, um... You bring another person? No, I, I don't want to fight two of you. I mean, I feel like that'll. It is going to be two people. Well, I guess I'm screwed. Oh, good. Like, their health is just kind of shared. So the unfortunate part of like, uh, like when one of the characters dies or you know faints is what they say it is. Grabbing health is not going to bring them back, uh, which I don't think is like a bad thing, but it just sucks in some contexts. Like, I again, like I said, the red team just doesn't have. Uh, Red Team just doesn't have the great abilities of Blue Team. I'm sure I won last time, and if I don't get it, it means I'm going to have to go and grind some more gear to um, actually do this. Um, which is my bad. I probably should have done it before. But I will say that is like the one thing that, you know, can be frustrating. Like I said, the boss battles just... They just feel a little bit lopsided as far as... Um, like, what you would expect difficulty-wise? Like, I mean, it just... it just sucks that, like, I mean, I've... I'm just not in a situation where... my characters are going to fare very well here. Uh, but it could be that I'm, I'm so used to playing as Blue that, you know, they are... their range characters are far better. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you guys are gonna be here and you're gonna fight together, but you know what? Maybe this time is gonna be the time. This could be it. I think a big thing is certainly getting the timing right, which is, um... One thing that I... ...seem to kind of struggle with. Come on, I know you dropped health. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, give me that. Give me those health juices. get any health uh, for that drop, which is unfortunate because- oh, never mind. Yeah, I did. All right. Oh, uh, look at that. Fifth time's a charm or something. It was way harder than it needed to be. <laughs> Alright, well this is done. Uh, we've accomplished it. I'm very proud of myself. The video went a little bit longer than I expected because I kind of sucked a little bit. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay because, you know what? I had fun and it doesn't matter that I was bad. Which is always like a good thing, you know? Like, I really enjoy it when a game is like, you know what? It's perfectly okay that you suck. Uh, the important thing is that you had a good time. And... What has happened is I have had a good time. I've had a great time, actually. So there's at least one more story mission for Red. Like, I'm, you know, not going to cover it in this video. Um, dang. Oh, I was going to say, what a, what a rude move to, like, just decapitate somebody amongst all these flowers. I'm glad she didn't. Cube beans and then you know this little area has like a spot where we can potentially interact with our characters um it all kind of depends um where we're at in the story mode and everything and you know level up and uh, put on some new gear we can sell stuff it all works quite well uh, you know I, like i said i've i've been incredibly satisfied with the game it's it's really cool now we open up the second level that we could do um so, the big question that you have to ask yourself is, is there enough content within Early Access to warrant the purchase? And I would say yes, because in addition to the actual story-based levels, we have our, like, other areas that you get to go through and, you know, fight enemies and gain gear, and it works super well, so... That's that's gonna be it. That's that's my video for Marmor Real. I highly recommend it. It's um, definitely gonna be one of my favorite games of the year. So the link is in the description. I encourage you to check it out and uh, toss it on your wish list or buy it. Whatever works best for you. And thanks for watching.